Hello everyone, this is Sumi Shai Sums here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you're all doing all right and safe. So today we're touring this oriental penthouse. Um, I tried to make it look modern from the inside, but the outside it very standing out. Um, let's say this penthouse would stand out among all the penthouses that are out here in the city. Um, I just love this view from here. I just love, love, love this. The balcony, the windows, the pool area. Everything here is so pretty. Don't you think so? And I've added a, a wall thingy at the back there so that if the ladies are having, um, you know, a soak in the pool there, um, are doing their lapses, nobody can see them. Let's say the penthouses the buildings that are behind are all taller and they wanted some privacy so that's why there is a wall there and the back of the building is pretty simple you know i just tried to align all the windows and here we have the side of the building um it has a bay window in the corner here as well and you will see what's in there in a moment and we have the front in here and um I've used lots of archways, archways so that uh, the building has some character. Here we have Iman Larzac again today. So last time uh, we visited her current house, her uh, because she's married, so now she lives with her in-laws. But today we are looking into her house before she got married. So she used to be a city girl, but now she lives in Sin Sahara. So um, here we have a little entry space here. Um, the guests can like sit in here and wait until they're called inside, you know. So I just kept a mirror there and the divan with the decoration and a rug there just to make it look nice and fancy, you know. And then we have a long hallway that's this all the way to the back of the house, to the, the other side of the house. Here we have a double door and you probably wonder why I use two doors for the entryway here. So I also wanted these doors to be the feature wall uh, of the space and those Moroccan and Oriental houses have those nicely carved wood uh, feature walls in the uh, their house to give a character to the room you see so I tried to implement that in here and I think it looks really nice you know I just love these doors both of them uh, the other color as well and uh, yeah so I have added um, these doors in here and here we have the living area uh, with the curtains at the back there and the lamp in the corner there and then we have a display there and then here we have the living area as well and I just love how this arrangement looks like and there is a curtain on both sides it looks so pretty I think so and then there is another sitting you know hanging out area with the divan here and I added those red rugs underneath so I think it looks really nice I like the space there are two doors here one leads onto the bathroom and um, it is a full bath because uh, there is a guest bedroom on the side there so i've used these fine dining uh, event sink in there because it has some gold in there and then the glamour event um, tub there and uh, there is also the toilet so i never use that pissoir or you call it bidet, I think. Um, so I thought, why not use it in this build? You know, I never use it. The only time I've used it was uh, in the school. So yeah, so that's the bathroom downstairs. It's pretty nice and modern looking. And I just love the plant here in the middle of the house. It gives, you know, the green in the house. Okay, so the next door here was uh, is the guest bedroom. And this is very pretty. I kept it into blue. I don't know why I am into blues these days. Um, I think it looks gorgeous. And I've used my favorite beds in this house, which is these uh, king beds that are available in the online store. And they're so pretty. I think everything looks so coordinated in this room. 
the blues, the beiges, um, and there is a little arrangement here with some books and the flower and that incense and the gold um, lights. And then there are closet space and the bay window as sitting area. It's so pretty. I love it. So this is what we have in the front of the house here. And then, of course, in the corner there, we have the stairs that leads onto the second level. But first, we are going to check out um, the rest of the house. And there is a little entryway here, as you can see. And I didn't want this little hallway to be for nothing, to be there for nothing. So I use it as a passageway to go to the rest of the first floor. So here we have the kitchen area. It's a long uh, galley style looking kitchen area and uh, lots of prep space. And did you know that Talrak could go on top of that sink there? Um, and then uh, there are the um, curtains here so you can just pass the food through the curtains, you know, um, this would be pretty neat. You don't have to go all the way, you know, in the front there. And there are two stoves. Um, and then the nice uh, American coffee or tea set there and then a few other things that are red as well so that um, we have some pop of red in here. I like it. It's uh, long and narrow, but it's I think it's it looks nice. And then right beside the kitchen area is these uh, indoor outdoor recreational area. So uh, there would be nice breeze in here if they don't want to eat inside the house they could eat here and there's a little uh, dining area here and i just love 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 how this looks it's so pretty those new moroccan lights are beautiful they're from the current uh, event and they're so pretty and over the side there is some other lounging area you know so um you could just have guests here and have some you know coffee or drinks or whatever uh it's maybe and this is an l shape room so that's how i close it off with the um laundry set there um i will show you that in a moment so here we have the pool area again and we've seen it before but i will just show it to you in detail with the archway and the new vase that we just uh got from the sim chase event and the lounging chair and I just love 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 this look with um, the curtain at the back it's so pretty will make a man uh, lounge a little bit in here and here is the pool I've used that gold um, ladder for the pool and there is a little um, water feature in the front here with lights and you probably wonder what's behind the curtain so there is a shower to wash off the chlorine you know after a nice lapse and the washer and dryer here so the wet towels goes directly to the washer and dryer it's pretty neat and clean you know so yeah that's what we have on the first floor here and i think it's came out pretty neat i was first skeptical to um furnish those long long rooms there um for the kitchen and the lounging area there but then um it turned out pretty cool pretty nice i think so and now we're going to go on to the second level where all the other bedrooms are and uh where the grandparents are so here are the amines um amines the amin are um iman's grandparents and we'll talk about them in a moment but on this side we have the study area it's just open there's another curtain door there that leads onto other space and here we have the entertaining area where there are books and tv and here are the amins so the amins are um iman's grandparents uh, they raised Iman because Iman's parent died really, really early. And so you probably wonder how they can afford a penthouse. It's because both of them are doctors and Iman's parents as well were doctors. That's why. And they passed away in a tragic accident. I mean, have you seen how the Sims drive in Sims City? So, yeah. 
anyways here is the first bedroom up here this is the grandparents bedroom uh i chose very bright color in here and this is the other version of the bed that i love 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 so much lots of pillows i did a little arrangement in here so it looks nice one for him one for her closet area and then they have their ensuite bathroom again with the dining event sink and did you know you could put the toothbrush on the top there hey i'm discovering stuff in here and um there's a towel rack there and a shower and a toilet everything they need and then there is a door there um that leads onto the front area as well if you wanted to go in the front so this area here is empty because i am planning to put the plants that we are getting in the sim chase pretty soon so i kept the space for that in here and uh this penthouse is gonna be in my town for a while so if you want to visit it mm, uh, feel free to do so and uh here we are in the middle again and on the other side uh i kept that dish that gold not brass dish in here and here is or used to be Iman's bedroom so this used to be Imran's bedroom and now um she is living with her in-laws so this bedroom is empty too but i did the same thing here i used that door as a feature wall again i have the same setup in here as a closet space and she used to have also her own master bedroom uh, bathroom in here and uh yeah it's pretty much the same as the other one with the sink uh shower and toilet and the towel racks and then she has a space as well in the front here and that's how her bedroom used to be so you guys let me know which bedroom is nicer her current bedroom where she lives in or her first bedroom which is this one okay so behind this curtain archway here is another space uh where they can hang out it's a multi-purpose space actually it could be a lounge chair where you can read uh, it could be their prayer room as well or it could be you know where they just spend some time together um enjoy the breeze up high in the heights you know so i did this little divan space in here with the new american lamp and i think i like it it's it looks really pretty and then on the other side i used this rug that we got a while back um it looks very oriental too and they can just have like a picnic you know and enjoy the breeze outside so that what I did in here and we're going to make a man seat in here and there used to be an archway here um, some of you probably saw the post I added um, on Facebook about which um, archway I would put in here but then I changed my mind and thank you so much for all the ones who voted <laughs> but I then changed my mind and I'm sorry about that so yeah that's the oriental penthouse here and i think it turned out pretty nice the layout is very very simple to recreate here is the view of the penthouse at night and don't you think it's so gorgeous it's so pretty i love it it looks really nice those new american lamp as well are really really pretty in here um i just love 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 how it looks so um I am showing you the grids now and adding to the story that you probably wonder why Iman came to um, the city. So her grandparents called her that um, they're about to retire now and they're planning to go back to Sim Sahara. And this is supposed to be Iman's property. So they were asking her what to do with it. So um, Iman is going to call her best friend uh, Sarah Flores to put this in the market and sell it you know so yeah that's why she's here so uh, she's gonna you know uh, sign a few um, paperwork and all those things in here and I say goodbye to her childhood home and uh, yeah I am showing you the grids in here you can take a screenshot 
uh, if you'd like to recreate it and if you do recreate these and post on Facebook make sure to tag me on so I can see what you've uh, what you've done and as you can see the layout is very very simple now I'm showing you where all the items go there's no glitches in this house so you can recreate it pretty simply and uh, yeah you can always use what you have in the inventory you don't have to use the exact same thing that i have in here um, um so yeah i hope you enjoy the tour of this oriental penthouse um i will see you next time with another house tour pretty pretty soon till then take care stay safe and happy simming